residents of the Canary Islands. They've reported more than...
Okay. I'm coming now. Yo, I think I'll come.
All right, we have come to the end of another knife and uh, I want to thank everyone who has watched up until now. Blah, 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 blah. So this here is a moose antler spike, one of the spikes. And inside is a birch bark insert that goes all the way through and uh, I have made holes in the middle for the tang and uh, these wedges here, plugs, are also made out of the same uh, spike, moose spike. It's a very simple looking knife. Very simple but with some intricate curves that really gives a nice comfort and grip. You might have uh, observed, noticed that I did not put any oil on the bark because the oil easily taints the, uh, the bone, the antler. It's so porous that it just sucks in the oil and, and taints it. And speaking about taints, there are some natural blemishes in the antler, some spots that uh, are there, nothing to do about, and I will not attempt to, uh, to hide them. I will leave it there. I wanted to make a simple looking knife, deceptively simple. And I have been carrying this ID with me for quite some time. and try to solve how to make it in my imagination before actually attempting it. And I did run into some challenges. Anyways, just looking at the knife like this, it's just a chunk of a chunk of a handle with uh, not much going on. But Look at it from a different angle and all these ornamentations and lines and curves come up. And these lines are for the grip. It's very comfortable. It's a slim, small handle that sits perfectly in my hand, medium sized hand. The uh, birch bark insert has two functions. One is for an ornamental purposes and the other is to give a sort of uh, additional grip when you are working with it. And the idea is that uh, it gives you a grip here at your, by your fingers and also at the palm of your hand. Now I've made it really smooth so uh, this grip is seemingly, seemingly non-existent. You could rough it up to give it more of a grip. The challenges I ran into were how to compress the birch bark. 
how to fit it in there tightly and compressed. So what I came up with first was uh, these uh, wedges here. And uh, I will put some footage here of the first attempt. And the first initial idea was to have wedges that would overlap each other, go all the way through, embrace the hand, the tang like so, two of them on each side and overlap each other. And in so doing also create a greater pressure to compress the bark. But because these uh, sprouts, let's call them sprouts, they were so thin, they, they broke off easily. So I gave up that. And instead I just made chunks, two chunks of wedges that I plugged in and I sized it and made it a little thicker to compress the bark and also to reach as far in as possible towards the tang. And I do believe this will make the trick that uh, this, it will not come off because of the compression and also I put some glue in there. All right, guys, if you like this knife, you can already reserve it now with this video and just send me an email to uh, uh, Kölsberry handmade at gmail.com and uh, I will send you terms and conditions naturally and I would like to thank my patrons my subscribers and everyone who has watched this video and also especially to uh, you who have watched it without uh, ad blocks I know it's annoying to watch uh, with ads but uh, it does help a lot when uh, you watch the ads. Very boring, but uh, that's how it is. All right, I hope you like this video and I hope you uh, stay tuned for the sheath. And again, you can already now with the release of this video, reserve this knife if you would like to purchase it. Thank you so much and uh, see you on the next video.